Hi everybody and welcome to Lena Mystic. Today's video is about your surprises coming to you. So my guides definitely told me to do this video today. I was going to do a completely different video and lately because of all the chaos and everything they have me doing certain readings. They're not really allowing me. They're like putting a blockage on other readings that I try to do. So if you have asked me to do a certain reading or something and I just haven't lately just know that my guides are pushing me to communicating with you through your guides as well but go ahead and pick your group or crystal that just resonates with you connects with you excuse me and start this way one two three four five six make sure that you're calm and if you need to pause the video so that you can focus and ask the cards, you know, what are my surprises that are coming to me? What will I, should I be expecting to come to me? And if you have a certain time frame you want to know, ask that exact question and you can find out exactly what's coming to you in a month. Say, hey, for the first group that I pick, what's coming to me within one month? For the second group that I pick, what's coming to me within three months? I also have a, a three-month prediction and a six-month prediction if you wanted to check out my other videos. But go ahead and pick whatever is just connecting with you in your heart, in your soul, just vibrating with you the right way. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started with the first group. And there are definitely a lot of cards in this group. But I am going with the flow on this one. I'm listening to my guides and my angels of light. They're trying to send direct messages. So I am just letting as many cards that fall out be for you. It's in the right message for you and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and start with the Knight of Cups. So I see that for some of you, if you are single, I see that romance is coming into your life and just maybe a lover or something is coming into your life. I also see for some of you who may already be in a relationship, somebody is gifting you something. This might be your angels and your guides looking out for you and bringing in success or bringing in financial stability, okay? For the Ace of Swords, I see that you're going to be owning your power, owning your creativity, and owning your ability to make things happen on your own and not have to rely on somebody. I see you wearing your crown, being a little bit more confident, and listening more to your intuition, and allowing yourself to be guided by the universe. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> Just be messing up my words, okay? with the chariot i see lots of movement lots of action lots of determination coming to you and just overall you um you taking steps forward into what you want to be doing in your life and you're definitely just going to be moving forward and not letting things stop you which is really good because i feel like you have been experiencing lately maybe some blockages in your creativity or your ideas and it's just like, I definitely feel within the next month, you're going to be moving. You're going to be a little bit more determined, speaking more of your mind and just getting rewards from that. And you may be working with a team. Definitely lots of hard work. So like I said, you're going to be moving. You're going to be pushing forward. You're going to be moving past these blockages that you're experiencing. You're not letting anything hold you back. You just, you're not looking back basically. I love the Eight of Pentacles. It's definitely a lot of hard work. I see you've been working hard too, but you might feel like you've been kind of stagnant, you know? And I also see that you're going to be learning a lot. You're going to be growing a lot. You're going to be listening to yourself more. You might have a problem with that. Like sometimes you might not be able to tell the difference between fear and your intuition. No. You have to know that fear is when it's stopping you from doing something because you're 
you're thinking of the outcome like is it gonna be this like you're, you're basically scared of the outcome but your intuition is pushing you towards something because it feels right because it resonates with you your intuition is what helps you to pick the right pick a card group okay and with the nine of wands i see that people may have been um what, what is the word blocking you or maybe they've been putting a lot of pressure on you or maybe they've been using you and you're you're kind of protecting yourself you're like i don't deserve that anymore i'm i'm not just going to send you money just because you you need money or i'm not just going to um do your job for you because you know you need help with it because a lot of the time some people are just asking you for help because they don't feel like doing it and that's not fair for you and your blessings you know so you're gonna start sticking up for yourself and i see that I don't know if you're struggling with finances or something right now, but you may be like penny pinching or um, and for some of you, I see that you may have great finances, but it's not making you happy. So there's kind of like this balance between uh, the different halves of you where some of you are penny pinching and you're like, oh, my God, I just want to pay my bills. I want to have it taken care of. I want to help others. And then the other half of you is like. Money isn't what's making me happy. I feel worn down. I feel tired at the end of the day. I'm just not happy. So try to figure out the balance between that, guys. And with the strength card, I see that a lot of people are probably going to be coming to you for help and wondering, can you support them in some way? Make sure that you have what they're asking for before you say yes and that you give them more than you can actually give from yourself because you may be giving too much. I, I have a feeling that you do give too much. And this could also have to do with you giving somebody too much. And you, you're you working so hard. I see it. And the hard work is just, it's like weighing you down. But you need to protect yourself. You need to find the balance between this. You're moving forward, but you sometimes feel like it's, it's stagnant. And it's because you may not be following your true purpose or because you are doing this for other people but make sure you're strong you speak your mind and you're doing what's serving your soul and your purpose okay mm, okay with knight of wands i see some positive movement some movement for you're starting to figure things out for yourself you're starting to figure out what's no longer serving you and that's a really great thing and it's leading you to the two of swords which is a decision you have to make am i serving myself or am i serving others what is making me feel fulfilled and serving yourself is going to make you feel fulfilled because in a way when you serve yourself you're serving others okay and let's go ahead and see what these cards are i see okay so these are these are cups and pinnacle cards which i'm seeing a, a reward for you taking care of yourself so take better care of yourself treat yourself like like how you see gold okay because a lot of blessings are going to come from that and with the nine of cups i see with actually both of these cards i'm seeing you being able to appreciate and love your abundance that's coming to you that will be finances that are coming to you as well as family family connection family acceptance and um some of you you may be having a new person coming into your life a new friend or something and some of you it could be a new relationship that you're getting into so this is this is very exciting this makes me happy and I, I definitely see abundance coming to you but you definitely have to make this choice am i serving myself or am i serving others and giving too much of myself not allowing myself to have anything left over you need to find the balance between those two things and decide that you are going to take care of yourself so that you can also give to others but not too much so you definitely are giving too much okay but let's move on to your affirmation cards see what affirmation cards any additional messages you know you need and any card that pops out is going to be for you it's going to be something you need to be telling yourself reminding yourself allowing yourself to accept let's see what message guys you have no idea how hard it is to bend down when you were pregnant Whew, okay, so 
more surprises coming to you. Um, let's start off with the I defeat obstacles. This is going to be a battle for you telling people no and telling people, you know, you, you got to back off a little bit. Like you're asking for a lot from me and I haven't even had anything to give to myself. And it's, it's, it's going to create this change in your life. Like people might slowly start to disappear. Like let's say that you've been helping somebody um, financially. And, you know, when you're helping them financially, they're talking to you all the time. But then all of a sudden you're like, hey, I can't really help you financially. And then they're like crickets. Where where are they? Where did they go? Oh, they don't care about how my day went anymore. And it's going to it's, you're just going to notice that change. So basically, people are going to be exposed at this time. That's a really good thing for you because you don't need anybody that's just taking from you, and not giving back. And I am at peace. Be at peace with the change that is coming to you. Be at peace with the obstacles that are coming with you, coming to you because at the end of the day, you've got this. Your guides are pushing you towards this right now and for a purpose. My cat is speaking to my other cat. I don't know why he's yelling. But be at peace with your situation. Um, always be trying to figure out new things. Don't move too much without really thinking it through. I definitely see what the chariot... You may be moving for like you may be moving a lot, but you might not feel like you're moving forward. So I wish you the best. I wish you love, light, positivity, and I will see you during another reading. See ya. Actually, put this in here. Moving on to group two, Tiger's Eye. So with the Eight of Swords, there, uh, the surprise is coming to you is you're finally going to notice that you're capable of freeing yourself from a certain situation or a certain circumstance. That you have the power to control that circumstance. You're going to definitely be owning up your power. So you got Knight of Wands, the King of, oh no, you got Knight of Wands, okay. <sighs> Alright, give me a second guys because I'm getting a few mixed messages for you. So I see um, some people are going to be exposed in your life that are kind of holding you back as well. And you're not, you're going to be uh, less dependent on these people in your life. And you're going to allow yourself to listen to your inner wisdom, your inner guidance. And you, you're basically going to accept that you have the power. My cat is speaking. You have the power to release your own self. You're going to understand that. And that is a great surprise that is coming because this allows you to realize your own inner power, your own inner wisdom. All right. Um, I mean, I'm going to save these. So I can get a message, receive a message from those. I definitely do see some moving forward, some um, some determination. You're determined to change a few things in your life and to figure out a few things in your life for yourself. And this may leave you a little bit, you know, distant from other people. But this is going to give you a great, a great chance to move forward and to retreat into your mind and figure out what you want in your life and things as such. I see that you may, um, for some of you, you may be getting a pet, which is amazing. Um, for others of you, you may be connecting more with your pets or with your family and you're going to kind of calm the people around you. You're going to be kind of calm and uh, connecting with nature. and. This is this is going to be amazing because it's going to allow you to have more energy. I see this fire around her and it's like this beam of light, this beam of energy, this 
but knowing when it needs to come out because I see that she's also calm but like she has this burst of energy ready to come out at any time so if you've been been battling with energy or you've been battling with not really feeling determined or something I see that there's going to be a fire of ideas and um, aspirations coming to mind and movement coming to to your into your life as well I see that this movement that you're going to be doing is bringing you rewards and this you're going to be so proud of this reward and you're going to feel fulfilled uh, about this reward because the hard work that you've been putting in lately is finally starting to pay off and I, I definitely do see some improvement in finances and you're going to be so proud and relieved and this is probably why you're going to be kind of calm and these fiery ideas that are coming you're not like rushing them you're taking your time with them as well and with the chariot in the world uh, I don't always see these cards together but they definitely make me think that you'll be putting um, a lot of thought into travel or you'll be traveling or um, doing something that has to do with traveling and you could be communicating with people all over the world as in if you have on social media if you have a whole bunch of people like following you or something you're gonna be sending out some great messages i definitely see a lot of movement forward even with the knight of swords i see movement forward and i think that's an absolutely beautiful thing that you're just going to be moving forward in your life and i see that right now you may be quite tired look at look at the horse in this image the horse is like carrying this person that's ready on their back so it's like you're ready but at the same time you might be tired right now and, and you might feel like you're not your hard work isn't paying off but don't don't have a li lack of faith in that because it is there's there's rewards coming to you it's just you you um you have to free your, yourself from the mindset that you have that your rewards are not coming quick enough or that your, your worry, any worry that you're going through, take control of your mind and know that your blessings are coming. They're coming in divine timing. Uh, if you're struggling financially, it's because your guys are trying to teach you to use your resources. There's something in your life already that can take you there and they're trying to show you that right now. And definitely take control of your mind your wisdom your power okay own that power and allow yourself to flourish in that power that you already have there's no need no need at all to be dependent on anybody or any other outer force because your guides and you already have it within you it's already in you the answer is already in you the idea is already in you just be independent these are a lot of independent cards and um trust trust like just trust maybe you've been seeing 222 two, two lately or twos lately i mean even the fact that you picked group two tells me that you need to be trusting your guides and trusting yourself and your intuition so don't allow yourself to have a lack of faith because you, you can't see what's going on because you can't see the blessings that you already have on on its way definitely uh remain faithful to yourself and your intuition and your guides and so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle some cards for you for your affirmation cards. I, I think, you know what? Let me see. Let me see if another. Ooh. Guys, I'm telling you, it has been a mess since this Saturn retrograde. So before I was really interrupted by my clumsiness, I wanted to go ahead and pick uh, an additional message for you because I feel like you may need a little bit more of an additional message So let me see what cards pop out for you and those guides, please guide us to getting the right card This card ah, okay Okay guys my cat is knocking over stuff. It's just I Don't know he likes to rub his butt on stuff and his head on stuff but let's see. So for your additional message, there definitely is some retreat needed. And this is this is why people may be getting removed from your life right now temporarily. Because there's a lot of retreat needed. There's a lot of um, inner wisdom that you need to accept. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing a lot of birds showing up at your door or something. It, it's telling you it's time to fly. It's time to listen to yourself. It's time to free yourself. And it's just... 
your intuition I, I keep seeing intuition in these cards uh, the purple is telling me intuition so follow your intuition let your intuition feed you guide you and nurture yourself connect more with nature I have a feeling that nature is where you're going to find a lot of your new ideas and new aspirations and just creative ideas overall and I see that these ideas are going to be so bright. They're going to fulfill you so much. You're going to be so proud of yourself. It's time to not depend on anyone else. Just don't depend on what somebody thinks about your idea. Do your thing. Ask your guides. Like, hey, how do you feel about this? And they'll, they'll answer you. You just have to be willing to listen. Try to meditate or not even meditate, but just go outside. Go for a walk. Don't listen to music. Just listen to nature and let nature guide you and let's see what your affirmations are see what pops out for you all right y'all i just keep knocking over stuff i am at peace so let yourself have a little bit of peace okay you might be uh constantly moving or something but let yourself sit down and or walk and just listen to the universe you know and release the chaos meditation might be really good for you and there's different forms of meditation there's shower meditation where you sit in the shower and you imagine in your mind what you want to happen in your life or you're imagining this the negativity washing off of you there's baths goddess baths where you do the same exact thing and there's walking meditations where you just focus your mind meditation is just focusing your mind so let yourself and your mind be at peace and I celebrate my own song. This tells me that sometimes you probably do look for people to say, oh, that was a great idea. But you don't need that. You need to celebrate yourself. And I see that a lot of people are haters. And they're not really giving you the credit that you deserve. Don't let that bother you because some people really just aren't where you are. They're not vibrating at the same frequency as you. So just understand that. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Moving on to group three, Amethyst. All right, let's see, let us see, let us see, let us see. I'm trying to see what messages I get for you guys. I, I definitely am getting some great messages though. So your surprise is coming, group three. I see that you're going to have to take a step away from all the chaos going on currently. There might be a lot going on or a lot of things that you're trying to do or a lot just going on in your mind or maybe family is just doing too much. It's too much drama or something. It's just you need to take a step away and this could be a step away from Netflix. This could be a step away from... 21 Savage's music or something. It's just something that you need to step away from. And I feel like you kind of have an idea of what it is. It may have already popped up in your head. But if there's any toxic things going on or things that are distracting you, it's time to step away because I see that it is it is in fact distracting you because there's, there's a time where you're supposed to be learning. You're supposed to be learning right now and this learning is inner learning. Learning about yourself and learning about the things around you in your life so that you can be put on a successful path. And I see that there are a lot of people who love being around you because you're so fun and you're full of new experiences and new things, but it's it's kind of distracting you. It's setting you back and just allow yourself to be mysterious at this time. And this also is a card that reminds me of um not telling everybody what you're doing. Because some of these people hanging out with you, they're not really wanting the best for you. And that's not fair because they're kind of putting, you know, when you use words to something, you're kind of putting that affirmation out there, which some of those negative affirmations can become curses without people having to use candles or anything. But when they think negatively towards what you are doing or what you want to do, it kind of sets you back because it's sort of a curse. So 
Stay, like, let people wonder what you're doing. Um, don't really tell everybody what's going on in your life, what, what you're taking steps towards, because I definitely feel some people who are just not wishing the best for you. I see some new beginnings happening. Maybe you flushing out some people in your life or flushing out some behaviors or things or even moving somewhere. And it's going to be a fun experience for you because you're going to be finding yourself more and more. And you're going to have support as well. I love this little doggy in the picture because it's like loyal support. And this tells me that probably your guides or even your parents or... Um, your lover is just going to support you in this because there's going to be so much growth. And with this page, I always think of the pages as learning, as um, growth. And I see you looking forward. You're not really looking towards the past anymore. And that's such a great reward that's coming to you because who wants to look at the past all the time when there's so many beautiful blessings coming to you? You're going to be noticing these blessings and you're going to be able to look for it. And you're just going to keep moving for it. And I love this energy. This is such great energy. It's going to bring you such great rewards, I see. And... Like I said, it's going to bring you such great rewards. It's crazy. You're going to be getting so many great blessings because you're finding this wisdom. And you're not allowing people to infect the affirmations that you have for yourself. Because you're moving in silence is what it's called. And you're allowing yourself to be the person that determines what, how you're going to live your life. You're not letting anybody infect their ideas into what ideas you have like let's say that you're like yeah i'm gonna be a movie star and someone's like yeah right like in a way that kind of affects your confidence and i i sense that you do have ideas or dreams that not everybody is thinking of and don't share those with these people let it be a mystery somebody like what you been up to girl i've just been working on myself okay all right, I've been eating good. I've been drinking water. I've been illuminating my life. That's that's all you got to tell them. You don't need to be specific because there's definitely someone even close to you that I feel is not really hating on you, but just jealous. Like, it, that might not be putting such great energy into what you're trying to do. So just keep it on a DL, okay? And trust yourself. There's going to be some great rewards coming to you. Such great rewards. Ace and of cups like i love that that's such a great thing and um eight of swords i see that you have to free yourself from these people around you with their negative talk if somebody's speaking negative into your life like stop telling them these ideas that you have if they're not fully supporting or they don't even have to fully support it's just if you're speaking negative into what i'm doing you don't need to hear what I'm doing because it's, it's not like it's not giving me good vibes. And you're going to be freeing yourself from those people. You're going to be allowing yourself to listen to your own voice, celebrate your own success. And you're also going to be following your intuition, knowing that nobody can tie you up. Nobody can hold you down. Like you've got this, you've got the power and you're going to keep moving forward. Yeah, with this, again, I see that it could possibly be family or someone close to you that is like, no, you need to follow this tradition. You need to do this. You need to do that. Like, there's somebody telling you what you need to do, and that's that's not right. That's not fair to you because your soul is the one who is trying to put you on the best path, but you can't listen to your soul if you're too, too much listening to everybody else. So distance from people, okay? Distance from these voices. And this could mean you may need to go somewhere, you may need to travel somewhere so that you can finally listen to your own voice and maybe a vacation or something. Have you planned a vacation? If not, I, I say that you just get away for a couple weeks, uh, three weeks, two weeks, something. Take some leave because you definitely need a retreat. You need to separate yourself and figure out who's not really serving your best interests in your life. And this is going to leave you 
finding out so many great things about yourself. You're going to be able to connect so well and beautifully with yourself. I see birthing of new ideas, new um, aspirations, new goals being reached. It's just going to be flourishing and you're finally going to be able to listen to yourself and listen to your voice and listen to your guides because you're retreating. You're taking this time away from people. You're giving yourself the power over yourself because all of these people are infecting your mind. They're infecting your dreams. They're infecting your aspirations. And that is not helping you. It's setting you back. But the moment that you release that, the moment that you move past that, you're going to be starting a new beginning. A beautiful, beautiful new beginning. And it's going to leave you with rewards. And this, this, these are, these are both cups cards. So I feel like financial abundance rewards and rewards of just overall abundance, like love from, from people around you and, uh, just people you don't even know. They're going to be so grateful for what you're putting out into the world. And your guides are going to be sending you messages through other people. So make sure you're listening to like the common message that you might be getting like, oh, this is, this is a great idea. Or um, maybe you should try this. Like, and it, and sometimes you can tell that it's not coming directly from that person, but your guides because their personality will kind of change. And it'll be like, wow, that's, that's not, that's not like them. And then you, you think about it again, or it rings in your ear later on and you're like, yeah, maybe I should. That's a great idea. But let's go ahead and pick your affirmation cards and see what pops out. Yes. Oh, all right. So let's start with I am at peace. Be at peace, okay? There's so much chaos going on. It's crazy. Like this this card, you need to be at peace. There's so many um there's so much chaos going on, not only because of Saturn retrograde or any retrograde whenever you guys are watching this, but because there's so many people infecting your mind and you're allowing them to. You're giving them this power to tell you what's best for you and it's just not, it's not what's best for you. So be at peace and follow your heart because your heart is trying to guide you to this abundance. Your heart is trying to guide you to this wisdom and look, abundance. Like just follow your heart. Your heart is trying to lead you the right way. All right, and don't let anybody hold you back from this abundance. Don't let anybody hold you back. Like these, these dreams that people feel is impossible. That's not fair to you that they feel like it's impossible. So go for that impossible dream. Go for that impossible goal. Do your thing. Be on your grind. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right. Let's move on to group four, Citrine. Let's see what your message is. Okay, so I'm getting quite a few messages for your surprises coming. And I want to start with this card. And with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. Guys, I don't know why I'm so clumsy. <laughs> Alright, Ten of Swords and Five of Swords. So, with the Ten of Swords... Let me show you this card. There is definitely some betrayal going on in your life. And this may have already happened or it is coming to you. And it is going to be someone who's watching you. Someone who's kind of close to you. And the betrayal is coming from their jealousy. Like maybe you've been telling... Maybe there's someone you've been talking to. And normally you guys are always sipping tea. Like, yeah girl, this happened, blah, blah, blah. You're kind of changing your ways. And you're not really interested in talking about the negative things anymore in life or speaking negatively about other people in your life. And they're not vibrating at that frequency yet. So it kind of makes them feel like you think you're better than them. But that's not the case. It's just you're working on yourself and it's as simple as that. But they're taking it like really personally and they're offended by it. And they're, they're jealous. 
about it and in a way jealousy is betrayal because they're still talking to you but they're not letting you know how they feel about it and that's kind of unfair to you but they're going to be exposed i see that you're going to start noticing that they're the way that they are the way that they're acting and for all these good news cards this is such great news i see that you're going to be bonding with someone in your life you might be finding a new friend or just clicking with somebody vibing with somebody on a level that is just like oh my god i'm so glad i found you like whoo you have no idea i've been waiting to talk to somebody about this but nobody's been vibrating uh high enough to speak about this to and you guys are just gonna click it's it's gonna be like a brotherhood or a girlhood or something like that or sisterhood it's something where you just feel connected to that person it could be the opposite gender but it's just you're gonna be vibing with somebody and for others of you I see that you're gonna be vibing really strongly with your spouse or your best friend or something like that and it's just gonna be beautiful you're gonna be thriving you're gonna be feeding each other happiness wisdom um, light, love, positivity, joy, just all of that stuff. You're going to be feeding each other that. So there's going to be a great relationship, friendship going on. And that's amazing. I also see that you're going to be so driven. So driven. And this is such a blessing because it's going to be like ideas are flowing and running to you. And life is kind of be going to be... Or blessings are kind of going to be moving quick, like coming to you pretty quick. And you're going to feel like things are just finally starting to fall into place. And you're just, it's going to, it's going to make you feel good. And then on the other half of this card, like, so with blessings, you know, there's normally a storm before the blessing. And I feel like a lot of the storm is going to be hitting you kind of quickly too. So you're gonna be like oh my god why is this happening a lot of people might be falling out of your life as in like you just not being friends with people a lot anymore and this could be because you just really got intense into your spiritual awakening or something in in that way and this these blessings coming these like these people leaving your life everything just moving so fast it's going to allow you to get more into your intuition and you're you're going to try to get more into your mind so that you can figure out what's going on and this is going to give you more blessings because you're going to be attracting and manifesting things into your life that you want that are positive into your life i see some rewards coming from that and with this these two cards i see that you're probably going to be learning a lot with this person coming into your life and with this uh this card three of pinnacles i see that you are definitely going to be learning a lot and you're going to be teaching as well i definitely sense a spiritual awakening either you just awakened recently or you just awakened again like there's there's something this renewal that you're opening up to and it's going to allow you to go with the flow you're going to flourish you're going to go with the wind you're going to be uh like flying and swimming just just feeling like a, a lift a weight is lifted off of your shoulders and your back because a lot of this, a lot of this tells me that you probably are an empath and the people that you've been speaking to have kind of just been weighing you down you know and you haven't learned how to put that wall up to keep the negativity out but you're you're like giving all your good energy to that person and you're not like getting any good energy back it's just it's not a mutual relationship going on a lot of your in a lot in your life with these people. They're kind of toxic and they're kind of taking all your good energy from you because you're you're allowing it. But I see that soon you're gonna learn how to control what you're giving out and what you're putting into things. You're just gonna pay more attention to it. I see a lot of spiritual learning going on, and this is gonna be with a group of people or uh, a friend or something. And this is beautiful. There's going to be a lot of retreat. Try to take time every day to yourself so that you can recharge yourself and um, feel energized. If you're feeling drained a lot, it's because you're like a lot like the people that you're talking to might kind of be draining you. And I recommend you getting some sage. And if you talk to somebody and it's a lot of just you feeling drained sage yourself after you talk to them and uh 
imagine yourself cleansing your aura and then you should feel more energized after that. I also have a sense of feeling that nature recharges you in a way as well. But let's go ahead and pick your affirmation cards and see what your message is. What is your message? Angels and guides, give me a message. Thank you. Give me one more message. Give me one more message. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So... I honestly didn't expect these cards to pop out, but it seems like you need a lot of different messages. So I honor my body. Try to work on your confidence right now. Try to also make sure that you're feeding yourself the proper foods. And maybe you've been thinking about going vegan or vegetarian lately. Go for it. Like, don't be scared. Uh, if you're eating meat, try to eat meat in uh, little portions because with you being an empath, you probably pick up on the animal's energy and it could be affecting you and bringing you a little off balance leaving you with less energy so be very cautious about that as well and I work through conflict there may be a lot of people you know you, you just like guys you know I can't really do this right now like I'm trying to work on myself and you're giving me a lot of drama work through that speak speak your mind speak what you need to speak to them so that they understand that they kind of are infecting you and just if you're battling something right now know that you're going to get through it you're going to rise you're going to be okay your guides are there for you supporting you through this journey and i radiate a uh, i radiate acceptance so with this betrayal accept it Understand that that is what they're into right now. They can possibly change, but accept that that is what they're putting you through. Don't hold a grudge against it. Don't be constantly angry every day about it. Accept it. They did this because that is how they are at this moment. They did this because that is what they're interested in. And that's it. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with how great of a person you are. It has nothing to do with if you think you might be a bad person. It has nothing to do with that. So accept people for who they are. Accept people for uh, accept people doing things for what they did. Like it's just as simple as that. Don't take anything too much more personally because that's when you get infected. That's when you have to work on forgiving yourself as well so accept these things that are going on in your life so these new blessings beautiful blessings can come into your life thank you so much for watching make sure that you like and subscribe and i will see you next time moving on to group five clear quartz All right, so I'm already getting energy from this reading. And this is crazy because I definitely um, had two tarot decks that I picked from. And you got Seven of Swords twice, which completely tells me that there's somebody in your life being sneaky. And uh, it's not like maybe gossiping behind your back or something. They're just being sneaky. So keep an eye out for that person. You probably have an idea of who it is already. Uh, and if not, you know, this is a surprise is coming video. If not, try to be very cautious about what you're giving to people or what you're saying to people because somebody's definitely being sneaky with you having two seven of swords cards. I, I've never seen that before. Be very very cautious about that and i see that they're actually going to be exposed like you're going to find out who this is and you're going to cut them out of your life and i see that you're probably going to be like i wish i would have said how i felt say how you feel when they're exposed say how you feel like hey you did me dirty and that's not okay like don't just cut them off just be like hey you know that that was really trifling what you did and i'm tired of you talking sh about me okay but how my back like i trusted you with this information and you was telling somebody else about that let them know how you feel open up that throat chakra okay and with the knight of swords i see that you're going to have to to battle that like you're gonna have to battle the fact that 
this person betrayed you or they're being sneaky like you're gonna have to speak up and let them know how you feel about it so that they understand you got caught like you can't do that to people it's not okay whatever they're doing whether it's stealing from you speaking uh negativity about you whatever it is and i think i'm gonna come back to this one I definitely do feel like you need to speak up though with this card and watch out for these people that are around you like see if they are being sneaky don't don't be like oh it could be um oh it could be anybody i can't trust anybody ever just keep your eyes open listen to your intuition you may have been hearing this person is betraying you for quite some time now and it's just hard for you to believe but you're going to be shown proof soon you're going to be getting more of a message that they are betraying you and i see that their karma is going to be coming back for them and this is a period of karma so they're they're going to be getting kind of what the universe thinks they deserve and <clears throat> in a way that's going to be uh the universe exposing them to you so let's move on from that and let's move here. <coughs> Alright. So with the Ten of Pentacles, I see that somebody's going to be gifting you something. And this could be the universe, your guides, or somebody like in your life gifting you something. I see some type of possible abundance coming to you. And this could be abundance of happiness, abundance of uh, financial gain. Whatever it is, I see that it's going to leave you feeling happy. And you're going to feel rewarded. And that, that's such an amazing thing. That's such an amazing blessing that is coming towards you. And with the Queen of Wands, I see you being confident and thriving and connecting to your inner self, connecting to your inner wisdom, and just being as bold as a lion and allowing yourself to be as bold as a lion or a lioness. And you're, you're not really taking any crap from anybody soon. And you're just, you're going to be waking 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 up to your true potential and your true wisdom and opening up that throat that uh the throat chakra i guess because i wasn't going to say that but that came out your heart chakra is definitely what i'm seeing and you're not gonna i see that you're a very caring person but you're gonna learn how to care from afar too like not to always have to give somebody something to make them feel like they're cared for and I see that you may be you may be seeing a particular spirit animal a lot, like maybe a grasshopper or um a lot of birds or a lot of random cats, like a lot of black cats or something. Like you may see something very specific popping up a lot. Make sure that you look up that thing. There's gonna be some synchronicity going on and it's gonna be your guys trying to send you a message. So make sure you're looking up that thing and it's going to tell you a specific message and that's going to be great for you because you're also going to be opening up that intuition that i'm seeing with this purple i'm seeing some great intuition being opened up and i see a lot of spiritual influence as well um yeah lots of spiritual influence so spiritual awareness going on and with the world, I see that you may be opening up new ideas, rebirthing your mind, your mindset, and the people around you probably as well. And possible traveling and experiencing new things. Let me see what additional messages you get. Let me see. yeah 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 okay so like i said i definitely see that somebody's been betraying you with this situation going on here you're gonna be fighting for yourself and sticking up for yourself you're not gonna allow people to keep walking all over you and you kind of could have kind of could have already known that these people or this person is betraying you but it, it's like you might not like confrontation or you're like, I really don't feel like dealing with this or no way that person would be like that. 
but you're gonna fight up you're gonna stick up and fight for yourself and I think that's a great thing because this is leading you so that you can speak up for yourself in other situations as well and I see that this is gonna bring you great luck and happiness into your life doing that handling that and in a way you're gonna be sad about this you're gonna be hurt about it but i see better people coming into your life i see better blessings coming into your life and you see how they're hurt but they don't see that this reward is back there it's like near them or if they just turn around they would see it there's going to be a reward coming into your life and that is why these people are being taken out and in a way they're going to be replaced so make sure that you're not dwelling too much on oh i lost this person i told them so much i connected so well with them like they weren't looking out for you in your best interest in the first place so there's no need to keep them around keep it moving let's let's keep our blessings coming and notice our blessings and once again rewards behind this person but they're not seeing it they're uh reflecting a lot on the pain and sorrow don't don't stay focused on that pain and sorrow. Keep it moving. Uh, keep it... Understand that a lot of the loss, you know, newer things come into your life. It's kind of like a rebirth. You're, you're, it's just a new phase in your life, okay? And those people, they're not vibrating as high as they need to be to, to go on to that next phase that you are going into your life. Understand that. And except that be okay with that i see so much flourishing coming to you it's just these people are blocking you from or this person is blocking you from your blessing because they're they're just they're toxic i guess they're just not helping you out as much as they need to be they're not as supportive as they need to be and let's pick your affirmation your affirmation cards let's see what you get Few more messages. All right. I observe and reflect. So reflect on who you think, you know, this person might be. Who have you been hearing lately in your mind and in your intuition that this person or these people might be? Anything that you need to take out of your life, think about that as well. Like, is there something in your life that is infecting you or? creating a conflict that doesn't need to be had observe and see if those people or that thing is worth it if it's holding you back or if it's helping you move forward and reflect on the positive memories reflect on the positive things that came from those people and those situations and keep it moving keep it moving forward and accept that this is the situation that this is what's going on except that this person is just sneaky and that you can't tell them stuff and that you can't trust them accept it and like i said keep it moving because there's there's blessings you just gotta you gotta stop focusing so much on that and then focus more on your blessings there are definitely blessings moving forward and you can't always move forward with a whole bunch of people carrying baggage behind you if you like if you like you guys are all chained together because you're trying to be all on the same wavelength if they're not moving forward you can't move forward because like you're being pulled back from them so sometimes you just gotta let these people go let me see if you get another card as well this isn't a bad thing though don't think that this is a bad thing and i do not stand alone so you definitely do have support you do have friends that are looking out for you, you do have family that is looking out for you so know that you don't stand alone you just do not need that person or that thing or whatever it is being sneaky in your life you don't need that anymore and also understand that your karma is joy that you do deserve better friends you do deserve people to treat you better you no matter what you've done maybe you feel like you weren't doing so great at something before or maybe you've been through so much you just feel like trash like forget that no your karma is joy you deserve the best of the best okay attract the best of the best into your life thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you next time Moving on to the last group, group six. I try not to scratch up this table. It happens anyway. 
All right. I don't know why I was about to shuffle that. Okay, give me a second so I can receive your messages, okay? So let's start with the tower. There's going to be a shaking up going on in your life, and this isn't always a bad thing. A lot of the time when you uh, go through a shaking up in your life, it's a spiritual awakening, or just you awakening to the things in your life that are holding you back and no longer allowing you to move forward and I think that's a fantastic thing like you may with the tower card you could be losing somebody or you could be going through something that is kind of stressful but at the same time it's leading you to something better so always know that when something's shaken up it's for a purpose it's for exposure it's for you to open your goddamn eyes and your mind to what's really going on so don't trip about that there will be a shaking up though and it may have already started for you but this shaking up is going to allow you to move forward it's going to allow you to be more determined have new ideas have new experiences as well so it's going to change a few things in your life and i see that you'll be reflecting a lot on past experiences because of this tower shaking you up you may be losing people in your life as in not friends with people anymore or just not connecting to activities you used to participate in and things as such but this is going to allow you to reflect on the positive things like yay i really enjoyed that but wow look forward look at what's about to happen you're actually wanting change in your life too so accept this change and i know that you know when you want change in your life or better things you don't want anything to be shaken up you want to keep you want to i don't know what, it, what the phrase is called but you want to like what is it called make your cake and eat it too or something like that but you want you want everything but it doesn't work like that there are better things for you so keep looking forward keep moving forward and understand that these are blessings when things are shaken up it's for it, it means you're in a new phase in your life that you're you're bringing in new experiences new things into your life because they're trying to expose what no longer is serving you what is keeping you back keeping you um from not moving forward and this nine of cups i see a lot of just abundance and happiness and joy and i see uh, uh friendships and it's gonna be like mutual friendships so if you're in a friendship that is kind of eating at you and it's like you're always giving but they're not giving anything back to you and this could just be energy then it may not be for you anymore kind of take a retreat away from it and with the sun and the star these are two beautiful cards to get together i know that you're creative with these cards and you're bright you're and you're supposed to be bright and i see that you're going to be more confident and more owning your power and you're just going to be vibrant and that is a great surprise coming because it's time for you to accept that you're a vibrant beautiful amazing talented individual and that that's just beautiful man and the star lots of creative ideas coming with you you're going to be allowing yourself to wash yourself from the things that are no longer serving your your better your you and your life i see that you help a lot of people you're there for a lot of people and um you're gonna learn about the exchange of energy and that if a person if you're giving all your energy to a person and you're not getting anything back like it's just draining you but you're not gonna allow yourself to be drained you're gonna allow yourself to constantly be in the flow you're gonna learn how to be constantly in the flow and to not feel drained from people to not allow people to take too much from you and I see you following your intuition and just letting it guide you not even push you not even trip you up because sometimes our intuition will do that so it can wake us up like hey hey i'm trying to tell you something but no you're going to be letting it constantly guide you you're going to be in the flow of life and with the queen of pentacles i see you're just going to be rewarded because you're going with the flow because your intuition is trying to guide you the right path you're just going to be listening you're going to let it you're going to let it happen and you're going to be happy you're going to be connecting with nature and you're just going to be 
bonding with animals probably or even your inner, inner spirit or your spirit animal if there's an animal you're thinking of when you think spirit animal look that animal up you're going to be um embracing those qualities of that spirit animal and that's just beautiful i'm so glad that you're hitting this reading and let's go ahead and see what your affirmations are just repeat these affirmations to yourself let's see Key affirmations that come out for people choosing this group. Thank you. All right. So let's start with I defeat obstacles and I work through conflict. There might be a, a battle you're going through. Let's see these cards again. Oh. So that makes sense. With the Tower card, with the people that are going to be fleshing out of your life and with the situations that you're going to be shaken up in, you work through this conflict. You will rise and you're going to defeat this obstacle. Trust it and know that abundance is coming after it. Rewards are coming after it. Your guides communicating with you during this process. Just trust that. Have a lot of faith. We're all being shaken up definitely at this time during the retrograde. So just know that this is just something that you're you're going through to learn to listen more to your intuition so that you can get better things in life. And let's go to I stay focused. So if you have a goal, stay focused on that. I see you can kind of be distracted by all the people saying they need something from you or all the people in your life um, wanting you to be there at this party or hey I'm having this going on like take a little break and stay focused they focus on what your goals and your aspirations are so that you have time for yourself and I embrace change with the tower card you are going to be going through a lot of change embrace it love it honor it the people that are leaving your life because they're no longer serving your state that stage and your the new stage that you're going into your life embrace that they're just no longer needed for that phase and I know that it can be hard because some people you know you've been around with for 10 years and it's like what the hell like we're supposed to be BFFs forever embrace the change okay there's gonna be great things coming to you so don't worry about it and I support my soul your soul is guiding you there's a great path that you have make sure that you listen to your soul because I see that you're gonna flourish when you listen to it you're gonna be constantly letting your intuition guide you constantly letting your creativity give you answers just let that flow okay and thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe go ahead and watch some other videos and just once again thank you have a wonderful surprise coming to you and see ya